Hello, my beloved soul. It's so good to be back. I've had a little break for three weeks due to some virus and uh, stuff like that. <laughs> but um, today I'm still um, healing. Um, so I'm a little brain foggy, but uh, <laughs> I just can't wait anymore to get back to you guys. And uh, how are you? I want to know how are you doing. I'm so curious about your relationships and your life uh, in general. Um, because I'm sure that I haven't been the only one who has needed a sort of a um, forced break. <laughs> because, you know, sometimes um, the universe, our helpers, will um, sort of just... Uh, Make sure you uh, relax, take a nap, lay down. And uh, so you can have a virus, you can, you know, um, strain your foot, something like that. Uh, so it's been sort of a, um, a period of time when a lot of us needed uh, just a little uh, serenity <laughs> and uh, time to contemplate about where am I now? What do I want to do? Um, mm, divine masculines, divine feminines, uh, uh, there is such a huge collective part uh, of um, your relationship that has changed dramatically uh, over the past months, um, especially Divine Feminine, you have um, uh, integrated more and more of uh, your internal Divine Masculine, uh, not your external, because there has been so much separation and we don't know how everybody is right now, but uh, inside you become uh, more strong, more um, confident, um, learning slowly to put yourself first and foremost, uh, set boundaries and love yourself um, even more. So, and uh, Divine Masculine is, uh, I'm hearing spirits say, uh, what is the English word? He's sort of just, no, out of balance. Um, in the sense that he's uh, been forced to experience more of his own divine feminine within. And that means emotions, that means feelings and uh, hurt and uh, confusion and stuff like that. Uh, so uh, our Divine Masculine is uh, has been on a, a job, <laughs> uh, taking all of these new feelings in as um, as you're used to this divine feminine you're used to this right so um yeah be patient with your guy <clears throat> uh, uh yeah as you can hear already i'm speaking uh to you as divine feminine viewer and divine masculine he's the one we're playing cards uh for today and uh I have three piles today and uh, I got this card with something I bought on internet, love me or leave me. And I was like, yeah, I'm going to put that in the video because that is what it's all about here. Right, you guys. So, um, and uh, spirit uh, had me drag like a thousand different little kinds of rows in one spread. And so I, I hope I can figure it out. Anyway, after, these cards are for the Divine Masculine. And after that, I said to Spirit, what about Divine Feminine? Is there no uh, advice for her? And they said yes. So um, I, I actually pulled cards for uh, 
Divine Feminine after I pulled cards for the Divine Masculine about what to do. All of this is his emotions and the <laughs> in the end um, of the spread, I'm going to uh, tell you a little bit more about how to deal with those emotions, what you are supposed to do right now, Divine Feminine, because some of you I'm hearing spirit says are pulling your hair, not knowing exactly what to do right now. There are choices, huge choices um, in your life and uh, and some of them are not only about Divine fe Masculine. Okay, so, um, well, uh, I hope uh, I can get back to speaking English again. Um, I don't think you know, but until I started this YouTube channel in English, I haven't hadn't been speaking English for 10 years, actually. So I'm slowly uh, coming into the English uh, language again. And but now I had this three weeks break. So I hope uh, my my brain is not too foggy. <laughs> so please have patience. All right, you guys. Let's start with a uh, card deck. No, I'll just introduce the card decks now. One, two, three. That's easy, right? And I actually, uh, I laid these um, uh, stones. Um, what is the word for um, uh, for Stina in English? I can't remember. Anyway, um, these are very, very old, millions of years old, all right? All of them. So um, this is the first one. That's a beautiful one. For one. A tail or some sort of, I don't know. I'm hearing octopus. So, and this is uh, some sort of a snail. <laughs> and uh, a shark tooth. A very old one, you guys. So, um, you pick your pile, all right? And we'll get started with pile number one. As you can see, the table is very masculine today. I don't know why, but they want a dark color spirit and a feather for love me or leave me. Are you going to fly away or are you going to stay? <laughs> so, and... Uh, Well, it's about uh, this guy. Will he love you? Will he leave you? And then again, later on, will you love him or leave him? Okay. All right. The first card represents uh, who he is, your guy. And you have a dolphin. That is such a beautiful card. I'm hearing he's a funny guy and he's uh, um, he's sort of happy-go-lucky. He's like, a, it doesn't take him long if he's uh, been challenged with something to get right back up again. He's positive that way. And... Um, and what he's what he wants what he's looking for is um a family and to feel safe um, in that sense he's uh, loyal and um he's just a joy to be around i'm hearing spirit say so um all right i'm going to put you up here mr dolphin there Okay, so as you can see, this pile is sort of weird, but they're telling me to put them out uh, in a row like this. So that's what I'm gonna do. What do we have here? <laughs> okay. Yeah. This is what attracted him, uh, uh, you about him. Um, he, 
he um i'm hearing he's a strong um healthy guy who's positive and that was what you were attracted to you that's what makes you uh love him and um but i'm hearing he has a little issue with himself right now <laughs> he's not he's uh he's sort of ah uh, he's a little caught up in his pride and ego uh concerning your relationship um i'm hearing he's um trying to do whatever it is that you want um and trying to make you happy uh trying to uh just please you i'm hearing um but something that you did or something that you guys encountered in your relationship sort of made him stiffen up a little bit and uh i'm hearing it can be about you know um money it can be about something you said or something you reminded him him of something you showed him about his own actions his past actions i'm hearing spirits say and he actually was a little surprised um about hearing that it can be that it can be um or it can be just about fin finances or something but something sort of just uh uh hit him over the head i'm hearing spirits say um and uh yeah okay i'm going to have to put down the next pile of cards here shadow so that brought him into uh um his own shadow he you mirrored him <clears throat> he saw something um when you said something or when when whatever it was that happened uh he suddenly uh was able to see himself clearly um and he didn't like what he saw i'm hearing spirits say so all right okay so i'm just hearing uh this could be a relationship that's gone on for a while and uh it's just uh hidden uh, a a bump okay but there is something in beneath beneath this uh bump on the road it's a bump on the road okay it's not like um uh, <clears throat> um it's not like deter determined uh it's not like a breakup or anything it's just uh suddenly i see myself through your eyes and that is uh because of the interaction with the divine feminine divine masculine so this divine Fe masculine has seen himself through the divine feminine's eyes right now and he's he knows he has to change because suddenly he's like oh my god did i do that for all those years uh, i'm i feel so bad about this thing now i'm so i did i focus on that did i speak like that did i do that uh it can be lots of things but um sort of having a revelation i'm hearing spirits say because what he's all about really <laughs> about you and his feelings for you is he's so passionate about you um this is the sacral chakra and it's a number two so he is a all about um union he's about um this dualism that is um, um divine masculine divine feminine and he's also uh he loves you in a passionate way and he's he wants more passion i'm hearing spirits say he misses being more passionate 
uh, together with you. But he has uh, sort of maybe felt himself uh, being stopped, uh, maybe. Um, I don't know, but there definitely is a union and he uh, he loves you. He really loves you. And uh, I'm hearing he's trying to do, he wants to do whatever can make you happy. Um, but he's sort of feeling his way um, forward um, because of the bump on the road. But uh, <laughs> yeah, this is uh, actually in the middle of the card. We have uh, uh, card number six, the lovers. All right. So this this is this is you guys you know and that's what he feels about you it's not just a frequent uh fast love it's a true love so um have you been hanging out with each other for years and been sort of uh mm, entering into roles um that in for some reason didn't work out anymore and did you need a change did you need a shift did you need a shift that came right from uh beside uh, your navel and uh, was a little bit fiery did you need some fire within towards each other did you need some new love new passion new intimacy this is what he wants, actually, um, because he is the dolphin. Look at him playing in the water and splashing all around. <laughs> that is what he wants, you guys. Uh, <laughs> he wants the white foam girls. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. Uh, his thoughts are all about, uh, his, thought, his thoughts are clear now about what he did in the past and what he has to do now. And he's really trying. He's trying so hard to, um, just enter a new direction with you. Uh, speaking differently towards you, uh, acting differently towards you. Mm, but I'm hearing he's, he's, he's concentrating a whole lot. He's really, really focusing on uh, just being there in the, in the right way for you. He wants to give you, bring you that beautiful sword and, uh, and to just uh, mm, recapture your heart. Okay? Uh... Um, he's sorry. I'm hearing spirits say something in him. He's sorry. He's sorry. All right. Uh, so um, he's trying, girls. Um, yeah. Or boys, you know. Are you divine feminine? Sometimes I'm going to call you girls. <laughs> so, uh, but you know, it can be either kind of gender. It's... Uh, we are all both of them, don't you think? <laughs> so, anyway, we're not done at all with this pile. So, let's keep moving. Um, just a minute, you guys. Next card, Winter. All right. Actually, I'm hearing uh, that this is uh, mm, a time card. So um, it's, uh, it's moving on. It's moving on. Uh, he had some sort of a winter because, you know, it's underneath the moon card uh, within himself. But also we're coming into winter. Um, especially here in the northern hemisphere and hope yeah he has hope for the winter <laughs> you can have hope for the winter <laughs> and there will be a transformation you guys 
Yeah, so we're coming the next uh, few months, uh, November, December, January. Um, I'm hearing things are clearing up. Things are clearing up, you know. Um, so, um, yeah, you will have light again within this relationship. You will have light again within this relationship because um, okay, I'm hearing now to bring in the um, this wooden cubes I bought. I only bought three, so uh, I actually uh, pulled them out before and I laid them up for each pile. And this was the one for this pile of cards so timing all right uh you're waiting for um just um be aware that whatever um you've been uh waiting for it's a good thing that you've been waiting it's a good thing because there had to be some sort of recognition, some sort of healing in this uh, divine masculine. And just in the front, I'm watching this now. Just wait for him to uh, and wait for yourself. Wait for your relationship to slowly get on the right track of things. Because uh, sometimes we can just... Um, take a, a wrong uh, direction in a relationship that doesn't mean that it's gone it's over it's out it can mean uh, I'm just uh, waiting for um, things to change and those things take time you guys so um, yeah um, and then no, there was there were two cards uh, from the mystic moon and we'll see what they say uh, transformation and commitment there will be a commitment and an awakening do you see that that is what you're waiting for and that's what you're wanting um so um if you've been mm, doubting your relationship, your love for your divine masculine or the other way around. Uh, make sure that there was something already in this relationship that was good. And there was a reason why you guys came together in the first place. Okay, you guys. Uh, so um, uh, you will feel that commitment again in the winter <laughs> time. You know, timing is uh, um, its not easy for spirit to say, but these cards are, um, I feel like it's coming. Um, and because we're waiting for um, an awakening within this guy, uh, and um and he will i'm hearing them say he will because he has hope for the future what he wants is joy and happiness and just light all right and love um and he wants to give you what whatever you deserve he knows you deserve a lot so we'll see uh with these twin flame messages from mystic moon we have a uh, little uh, sentences about what he wishes to say to you all right so the first card is is it possible to forgive and forget oh my god yeah oh, divine feminine you decide <laughs> But uh, I, this is what he's uh, he, something he did, something what happened, you know, uh, between you guys. He wants uh, forgiveness, and he wants to just move on from that with you, and that is what he's working on. So, um, and the next card is, I need more time to figure things out. 
Mm. Yeah. He's waiting for his awakening. All right. So um, he's not really sure what really happened between you guys. What? Mm. Well, he's, you know, he's never seen that face in the mirror before. So he has to take a very good look because you showed him himself. I'm hearing spirits say so. Um, and that's why he needs to figure things out uh, and coming into his own alignment about what he wants and what he has to do. So um, because it can be all about what you need. Okay. And he's saying, would you reject me? Okay. So he's scared that whatever could have happened. Uh, and no, he sees you being this strong divine feminine now it's a divine feminine that actually uh, um, took her own personal divine masculine and brought him to full bloom so you're sort of different in his eyes than you were before because you're like I don't want to deal with that anymore uh, my boundary is here and uh, don't speak to me like that or um that's not what I want anymore. I want this now or something. And uh, it scares him a little bit <laughs> that you actually uh, became stronger within yourself. So um, would you reject me? This is what he fears. So um, and the next one here we have. I want to be authentic. I am no longer afraid. Exactly. He's awakening. And he, he, he understands now what awakening means. It means to be authentic. And uh, whatever actions he had towards you in the past was all about fear of rejection. I'm hearing spirit. So uh, actually he was just afraid to be rejected. And um, he could have sort of buffed himself up and be, be more, uh, try to scare you. Or he could just had, have just, um, I don't know, have um, stupid reactions towards you in, in many ways. So... Uh, and maybe you have been sort of the one to um, forgive him or just saying, oh, okay, well, um, I'm just not going to say anything. I'm not going to do anything. But uh, along the way, it hurt you. I'm hearing them say so. Um, but now he wants to be authentic and he doesn't want to be afraid anymore. And um, him being authentic is actually just loving him. Uh, you loving you um so um and loving himself and being this beautiful happy guy beautiful happy funny guy um who just sweeps in and saves his girl okay um all that he has ever done towards you has always been about trying to make you happy um, or <laughs> because of fear because of fear of losing you I'm hearing them say those spirits all right next card second last I want to be authentic. I'm no, sorry, we just had that card, the last card then. Anyway, uh, we will be together again. Yes, you will. I'm, I'm sure this read is a, a good one for you guys. Um, and uh, can you say to yourself, Divine Feminine, my guy... Uh, 
also needs a chance to work on himself as I have been working on myself for a long time. Um, he's encountering um, new emotions and uh, new thoughts about himself, uh, a different view on his life and uh, and uh, doesn't he also uh, deserve um, a moment to study himself, to learn, to heal, to understand. Um, in the end, that will be the best for you, both of you, and even for you as well. So let me just uh, take the cards I pulled for you, Divine Feminine, about your... Um, um, what you're going to do right now. Are you going to love him or are you going to leave him? <laughs> so um, I have all of these cards, as you can see. And um, Okay. Yes, I'm going to move you a little bit, Mr. Mr. Masculine up here because now we want to speak about uh, Divine Feminine and um, <clears throat> the first card is uh, it's a Mystic Moon again all right so um, let me just see I'm a little Hmm. Unsure about which way. Okay, so the first one we have here is Divine Feminine. All right, Divine Feminine. That's who you. I'm talking to. That is to me that you actually um, have been working alongside with this uh, Divine Masculine, and you found your um, a very high potential within mm, the divine feminine and to me that <laughs> divine feminine actually also includes the divine masculine so um, yeah this this is the strong woman that he has been dealing with and a little afraid of <laughs> so uh, yeah and there is the mirroring. He has been mirroring uh, himself in you, Divine Feminine. And since you became your own truest, authentic self, um, he couldn't not see himself 100%. He couldn't not see the truest uh view on himself and it scared him like hell so um because of your strength okay metamorphosis yeah you changed you changed into a butterfly and uh he was going around doing the old old same same old thing and and suddenly there was a divine feminine in front of him and he was like what the hell what does that mean for me now how can i uh, live up to that now how can i uh, <clears throat> be in the world with this goddess by my side <laughs> okay so and um, here we have the goddess cards uh, the goddess power oracle cards so um <laughs> We'll see. Here we have white buffalo calf woman. Reverence. Yeah, there is the change that's, that has come into you, Divine Feminine. And um, this is also all about what you want to do with this guy, this person. And uh, you want a change. You want a change. Um... Uh, and you're looking for that change. You're looking for him to change uh, in some way because you're, you're, you're needing alignment. You're needing alignment. And you know that there has to be balance for you. 
So um, I'm hearing spirits say maybe you just have to be patient and wait a little. And so there will be salvation. So you will actually uh, have what it is that you want, uh, what you've always wanted uh, together with him. And uh, you will have the sun, you guys. Oh. Yeah, and so now we have uh, two times here, um, beautiful sun, and and then we have um, fortune, and that is good fortune. I'm hearing spirits say right away. So, uh, you guys, uh, the advice for divine feminine in this read is to. Um, be happy that your guy actually did want to mirror you. Be happy that he um, uh, wanted to work on himself. Maybe not knowing exactly that what was what he was doing, but uh, this is what really actually did happen. So love me or leave me. We will be together again. Okay, this is uh, Spirit's advice in this pile of cards, all of these beautiful, so uh, don't forget you have your <laughs> free will and uh, you need to follow your heart always, okay, so, um, well, that was uh, card pile number one. See you later if you want to watch the other ones or next time, you guys. <laughs> okay, I'm just going to... Clean up after. So here we have pile number two. Pile number two. Um... This beautiful snail here. Love me or leave me, mister. <laughs> mister pile number two. So what do we have here? What kind of animal spirit wants to join us uh, concerning this guy? Wow. <laughs> Oof. And the energy just changed uh tremendously dramatically <laughs> the tiger okay i choose to be unstoppable my passion is my power i'm bold i'm brave mighty forces come to my aid oh you guys this divine masculine he's a powerhouse he is the, the type of guy that comes in to your life, completely sweeps you off your feet and, um, and just he leaves you just as fast as he came in, makes you completely unsure about yourself, about the relationship, <laughs> just... Um, <clears throat> Um, but the way he comes in, he can't be more perfect. He can't be more exciting. He can't be more gorgeous and strong and just uh, with such a will, with such a power. Um, and uh, like nothing you have ever experienced before. <laughs> I'm hearing spirits say, so this is uh, the energy um, uh, I can't wait to see where he is now because uh, I'm hearing him coming in and then out again. So he's like, uh, I don't know where he is right now in your life, but perhaps he's not in your life because or else you wouldn't watch this video Whew, you guys but you really had an 
uh, uh, an experience that took your breath away. Okay, girl? <laughs> okay, so, um, well, the first row of cards underneath this beautiful tiger here is um, from Magic Moon. Conclusion. Okay. Hmm. And what kind of conclusion? Okay. So Spirit wants me to put down the two first rows uh, so I can better uh, understand the cards. I'm not doing upside down. I just put them wrong. Anyway, um, so... Uh, hmm. Okay. <clears throat> so here I'm seeing what it was that made him withdraw himself. All right. I'm not seeing the conclusion, but I'm seeing what made him in the past withdraw himself from you because um <clears throat> Well, let me wait on the conclusion. What is it that he wants? I'm feeling he wants you, but uh, he did really want to um, also um, have his uh, uh, his uh, his work, his finances, everything that he wanted to give you because he's a giver. When he comes into a love relationship, he wanted to have all of those things uh, perfectly done and, um, and there has been um, challenges for him uh, concerning this relationship. I'm not sure what it was. I'm hearing another woman because this guy has maybe not just one, not two, but maybe more women uh, because he's very popular in that sense. He could have more. I'm not sure, but maybe at least one more than you. <laughs> so um, he had to actually take a look at his, the dark night of his soul uh, concerning this um, behavior he has been doing for such a long time. I'm he hearing them say up oh, spirit. Like uh, it's something, it's his strength to be this beautiful tiger that comes in and saves the day and just romances the hell out of any girl. And then again, that's what makes him lonely. He's lonely because of the way he acts. And uh, and this is uh, what he's been experiencing. Uh, perhaps after meeting you. He, uh, he had to tie himself down in a way that a beast like this is not able to uh, if he hasn't uh, gotten to that uh, um, awakening within himself. Um, um, <clears throat> But there are two here, okay? So, um, and uh, so he has been going through obstacles and challenges, changes. But what he wants is, uh, is light, is happiness, is love, is uh, beauty in his... He has beautiful wishes and dreams. And... He's beginning to take action towards this now. Uh, he's beginning to take action towards you in, in some sense. Next pile of cards here. Universe. He wants a change and the change is going to happen. Um, 
Yeah, because actually he is taking authority over himself and his own faults, uh, his own um, uh, imbalances. Uh, he's taking charge of them now. Um, and now he's standing his ground <laughs> and he's making a conclusion um, towards... Uh, uh light in his life more happiness more joy um and i'm hearing stability as well um yeah and a change is happening a change is happening like a huge change a big ending and a new beginning and he's taking control of of this uh so um well, and the next cards here say action. Exactly. He's taking action towards you now. He's wanting to accelerate the motion uh, in action. And um, he's a fast guy. He's a fast uh, type of person. Um, he comes in just as fast as he comes out. But now I feel like he's coming in again. He's coming back again. Yeah, fresh start. You have that. So yes, he wants to actually um, grow a seed with you. Put a seed in the earth and see it uh, grow with you. He wants to... Uh, uh, I think he wants to be with you. I feel like he wants to open the door towards a relationship with you. Um, okay. <laughs> and let's hear his own words about this relationship. Uh, he can be easy to be with, be around, but... Uh, and there must have been lots of emotions in you. Uh, lots, lots of um, doubting, a lot... A lot of choices, a lot of uh, not understanding completely um, what this is all about. Um, uh, of course, be but because this wild beast <laughs> of him, he's he's been not only confusing you but confusing himself and having to take a good look at his own shadow side okay so uh, but you sort of accelerated that motion was a catalyst towards him actually um coming into that uh realization that something has to change um well, because I can actually be myself, be strong, be compassionate, be uh, uh, charming and uh, sweep someone off her feet and stay afterwards. I can actually um, build on top of that, around of that emotion that I have created here and the emotion that I feel towards her. Okay, so... Uh, but he he's perhaps he's been some a sort of a guy that ha, ha, have trouble um, mm, the word come on mm, just staying in a relationship just being afraid of commitment this commitment that was the word uh, being afraid of commitment because he as a personality identity is all over the place all the time he's there then he's there then he's there then he's then so his personality is fast so commitment is scares the heck out of him okay so um that type of guy but i feel like um he wants something let's see uh twin flame messages here from mystic moon and what is it he wants to say to you if he could, uh, you feel like home to me. That's freaking scary for a guy like this. Because for some 
reason you catalyzed uh, him wanting to try the stable life uh, with structure, with just thinking about the future, maybe having a family, maybe having a marriage or something. And uh, so he, he had to grow up. He had to have his finances uh, ready. He had to just ask himself, can I do this? How can I do this? I don't know how to because I haven't done it ever before. But I, I have this wish in the center of the spread here. Of, of just uh, just uh, having the sun, having the joy and, uh, and the happiness and love in my life. So you feel like home to me. Um, and if I knew then what I know now, I would have made different choices. Exactly. But he didn't know then, he knows now. That's what the card says. He knows what he wants now because he's taken authority. He's wanting a change. A change is coming. And uh, uh, these are three good major arcana cards, you guys. There is light and there is the world and, the, and there is the emperor. And uh, so... Uh, and the emperor matches the tiger <laughs> so good, you know. He's that type of person. He's uh, he's not um, easily bound down into a relationship. He has to really have himself in it. Um, and uh, but he has now. He has now. And. Uh, and he's sort of sorry for the things he, he did towards you. Uh, he would have made different choices. And the next card, I still love you. All right. Well, it couldn't be more clear than that, right? He still loves you. <laughs> okay. He wants a fresh start and he is coming in. And the, and the energy is like now and then last card I'm reminded of you constantly all right so he's sort of really ready now he is ready girl he's ready to come in uh, like a, a bulldozer <laughs> so um Okay, um, instantly I'm hearing spirits say you're a little scared uh, because he actually did hurt you uh, a whole lot and uh, confused you a lot. And uh, you're thinking, is this the best for me? Uh, uh, and you're, you've been needing to watch out, watch out for yourself and take care of yourself. So let's see what spirit wants you to do uh, about this guy here who has been a little all over the place. And I'm using uh, the mystical moon tarot and uh, the goddess power tarot uh, to get to know you a little bit better and to help you decide should you love him or should you leave him. Because now you have a, a little indication of you know, what he wants. And he definitely wants to love you, right? And stay with you and come back in. But what should you do? What should you do, Divine Feminine, about this uh, crazy relationship here? Making space for Divine Feminine. <clears throat> Is like what if, what happens right now is we're, we're making space for divine feminine. The universe is making space. <laughs> divine masculine is making space for divine feminine. Come on. Yeah, get a grip. <laughs> anyway, um, first card here is recognition. Do you see that? Okay. Yeah. 
they are mm, coming back together. So uh, I have a lot of these cards, so I'm going to just... A uh, tribe. Okay. So here we have... Uh, hmm, you guys, um, that love that is between you is... Uh, Hmm. I'm hearing twin flame and uh, I'm hearing um, exactly um, what was in his card. You feel like home to me and that's how he feels to you. Okay. Um, so um, there is family. There is... Uh, um, the other half of me, I'm hearing spirits say, and you have to forgive him. You should forgive him. You should forgive yourself. You should forgive him for this process that both of you had to go through to get to the next uh, step, uh, the next level in this uh, frequency that a relationship is. So spring. Okay. Hmm. There will be a new relationship. Uh, it will blossom. It will come forth. Um, um, I'm hearing not necessarily uh, in springtime, but from now on and then until spring. Um, but this card is a new beginning, uh, indicates a new beginning for both of you. So, and then we have balancing the scales and that's what you're going to have to do uh, right now um, when you come back into union together with each other you have to uh, figure out how do we do this um, yeah there are a lot of there are some obstacles, they are physical, they are about money, they are, they are about maybe relationships, it can be a lot of different things, work. Uh, um, so everything has to uh, be in balance. So um, And that's what you're waiting for, Divine Feminine. But there is a return. Yeah, you will come back to each other. Because you still love each other. Oh, that's a beautiful, beautiful uh, spread. And I have these two cards for you. The goddess power. And what do the goddesses want to um, tell you? What are their advice for you? And we have communication. Um, yeah. Get it all out. Get it all out. I'm hearing the card tell me it's um, it's just. Uh, but don't scream it. Don't shout it. Don't uh, condescend. Just um, try to look at the whole. Uh, uh, take a, perspe a, a perspective from above. And try to understand each of your actions uh, and his action um, um, with um, a forgiving uh, sense. Um, um, try to understand that when someone goes through a huge change in their life, sort of an identity shift, um, they can start acting um, insecure, but it's all uh, acting out of fear. Because, you know, going from one mm, very uh, stable place to another in yourself, it will take uh, a few um, uh, dabs of people around you. So um, communicate, talk about this. 
talk about your relationship, talk about and tell him what you've been feeling and what you want now and put out new manifestations for this relationship and home. Okay. It's just exactly why you need to wait for him, communicate with him. Because uh, both of you, in both of your little spreads here, you feel like home to each other, you guys. So, um, hmm. that's such a beautiful, beautiful reading for you. And here is your advice, uh, Divine Feminine, about what to do. Um, uh, be patient. There will be a new beginning. Uh, you have to balance the scales, as the cards say have to wait for the balance to enter. Uh, there is some timing in there. And uh, actually I did um, throw uh, cubes. I have three cubes, and not anymore. So I decided to throw one for each of the piles. And uh, for pile number two, we have the world. <laughs> and... Um, and that is all about um, that new beginning that was in his spread as well. Um, uh, making a home, making a new beginning together with someone, with uh, just, um, I don't know, it can also be about traveling, <laughs> but it can be a sign that you guys... Um, I'm hearing international. It can also be uh, about something about you guys. Some one of you can be from another country or something, or long, far away or something. But no, I'm hearing this is a new beginning coming in um, because it wants to go with, together with this card. This card is completion, completion. And when one cycle has completed, then another begins, and that is you guys. Wow. <laughs> well, good luck and congratulations. All right. Um, beautiful, positive reading. Um, and I'm sorry if you had a lot of obstacles and feeling doubts and stuff like that. But um, <clears throat> if you ever wanted to be with your dream guy, then that he wants you to, I'm hearing spirits say. So... I hope that's uh, the reality for you. Um, I really hope the best for you. Don't forget you have um, your own free will. Um, and um, and, and uh, that means you can listen to your heart. So you have to listen to your heart. Even though <laughs> what these cards say, listen to your own heart always. Good, that was pile number two. Numero, numero dos, due, numero due. <laughs> okay. And now we're changing to pile number three. <clears throat> the shark tooth. <laughs> Actually, it looks a little bit like a heart. Don't you see? A sharp heart. So, well, this guy, number two, will he love me or leave me? Hmm. The black bear. Um, okay. Uh, Um, hearing family, um, loyalty towards the family, um, <clears throat> I'm hearing that this is uh, what he's, uh, he's all about um, right now, uh, especially he's sort of chosen a family um he's chosen to be um loyal and stable um 
he might have a family already he might have a wife um, he might have a mother he might have a um, just a family he he re he's really concerned about and uh, he feels he's the type of person that stays uh, with family um, it can be a chosen family or it can be an existing one um, because he's a he's a giver in that sense he's a hmm He's, um, I'm hearing father. So, um, well, <clears throat> all right, we'll see. Look at all these cards I have to clarify that uh, black bear card. Um, this is him. All right. I'm using Mystic Moon Oracles in this uh, spread. So um, I'm hearing also to put them all down. Good. Next pile two, okay. Well, sorry. There. Okay. Um, I'm not doing upside down cards. <laughs> uh, I just, I had to lay them like this, so. <laughs> I couldn't see which way it was up and down. Anyway, uh, okay, this black bear is beautiful guardian. You want him in, in your life for um, uh, <laughs> um, comfort. Um, if you're the one who has him, if you're not the one who has him, then uh, make sure that he will sort of choose uh, those closest to him because he's so loyal and um, what am I seeing here I don't know uh, girls is this your divine masculine or is it someone else's divine masculine does he have a wife does he have a mother does he have a, a family that uh, wants him to do differently than being together with you i'm not seeing you in this spread that right now i'm not sure but um i'm seeing he's in some sort of it internal trouble he's trying to and wants to uh ascend within uh trying to find happiness within where he is in his family and he's willing to compromise himself um numb him, himself uh to be there um and uh and i'm hearing he's like well uh whatever happened whatever um uh, came in and and just crossed my life it can just be another cycle uh, and it will be done once this cycle is over and um, because he's still uh, searching he's still looking for um, his muse he's still looking for um, not necessarily a woman muse but um, a clearer definition on his life and his path where to be where to go um, and um, and right now I'm hearing spirit said says that he, in his uh, ascension process he decided to be where he is to stay where he is and um, because family is more important to him than anybody else uh, it can be his children as well uh, if he has some um, and he's willing to numb him, himself down um, until uh, <laughs> something comes into his life 
Uh, in the distant future, I'm hearing. He's waiting for maybe in the distant future. Um, I don't have to numb myself anymore and something will come into my night life to help me understand uh, where to be or uh, right now I can't have all my wishes come true but in the distant future I might mm, <laughs> um, have new opportunities uh, so he's okay with there being cycles in his life and uh, he's just uh, being very uh, patient and um, and now he's with his family and he's making a compromise and yeah maybe I have to numb myself um, I'm not feeling um, uh, a lot of uh, fast and <laughs> exciting emotions but nevertheless uh, sometimes that's what it is when you have a family when you have chosen a life um, so um, well next pile of cards here are communication um, <clears throat> yeah. <clears throat> yeah, there might have been um, a need for some type of communication um, together with you. Maybe the family has been involved. Um, maybe the wife or the mother or someone has been involved. Um, he, um, but... Uh, um, and it made him sad. It made him sad. Um, but uh, he's been crying a little bit over it. In his soul has been crying a little bit over it. His heart has. Um, but it was um, something. Because it was this communication was something that uh, brought in a tower moment. Um in his stable life and um, emotions uh, that he's not used to having um, but in many ways had been searching for um, because of the treadmill he was walking around and just looking around himself and not feeling completely deeply happy but sort of happy so um, and uh, but this uh, tower moment that involved uh, other people as well and he, well he didn't want to hurt anyone he didn't want to just um, he really didn't because he, he wants to take care of the people who's, who are around him in his family and uh, he, because of this uh, tower moment, that means a destruction in his some sort of a, a very fast, uh, uncomfortable emotion that came into his life. Uh, and that's why I'm hearing the family, uh, someone has been involved that he didn't want to be in, let, let them be involved, but they did worse. They were. And now he feels definitely more bound than ever. Um because he wants to show his family no no, no I'm not go I didn't go anywhere I'm still here um don't worry um I'm I will always be your dad I will always be your husband and or whatever I want to always be your son I don't know but uh let's see what's going on here so he's resting and rejuvenating right now because of this tower moment whatever happened and uh, and he's being quiet now uh, uh, because this communication that happened right here sort of made this tower moment and uh, felt very uncomfortable so now he feels like he has to be uh, quiet and uh, um, um, the word 
he needs to show stability that that he's uh, still there he needs to show someone that he's still bound to them um and uh yeah because this tower moment i'm hearing his um Well, it also uh, indicated that it has had to have some changes uh, in Wait a minute. More cards. Spirit wants me to do more cards to understand those cards. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. Good. Well, uh, whatever you, Divine Feminine, um, catalyzed in his uh, heart, in his soul, in his, uh, his experience, uh, it would have had something to do with uh, financial and material changes. And um, a lot of um, huge uh, choices. And um, I'm hearing um, everything would have had to change if he were to be with you. His housing, his fina finances, his work, his, his uh, stable life, everything um, would have had to change if he were to be with you. And uh, so he was, he has been, <laughs> his own higher self has asked him to choose wisely here. And, uh, and you know how the higher self wants the best for us, even though if we, we really don't dare to do it, even though we don't want to do it. Um, I'm hearing he might have ignored his higher self in this uh, commitment, choosing uh, actually um, his family. But for some reason he did. And uh, I'm not sure because I'm seeing this uh, Empress and I'm hearing that this could be his his wife or his mother, his, uh, a woman in his family. Um, I'm hearing that's what he chooses. And um, yeah, he could have gotten something out of taking a jump, taking a huge leap of faith in his life with together with you. But uh, uh, his uh, direction, I'm not hearing it's with you. Uh, he's chosen uh, the comfort uh, of uh, a stable relationship and uh, well uh, having met you has made him feel like now he knows where he wants to be and this is where he wants to stay where he was so um, yeah and he's feeling uh, more strong to make that decision it could be a Leo, this guy, um, or I, mean, I don't know, not for sure. But uh, hmm. he has found some sort of strength within this decision, uh, with this uh, motherly uh, person, the Empress uh, card, fertility. Um, I'm hearing the word uh, wife, mother. So um, it could be the mother of his children. It could be his own mother <laughs> who chooses who to who he should be with. I don't know, but uh, he feels confident now to do that because he has had the hanged man experience. He has actually um, mm, contemplated and waited to see um, where to go and. Um, so uh, 
and yeah, uh, he might actually know um, that being here will cause him some sort of feeling bound, but this is now his choice. This is now his choice. Okay. All right. So, um, well, look at all these cards about what he wants to say to you if you want, if he could. So here we have the twin flame messages um, from Mystic Moon. And this is what he wants to say to you, Divine Feminine. I'm a better person because of you. So yeah, whatever happened between you, whatever you were to him, um, made him learn uh, a lot about himself. Uh, so... Um, yeah, I'm hearing spirits say now he can come back into his relationship and uh, um, with a bag of gold. <laughs> so, um, oh, well, no other compares to you. Okay, so that's why he feels bound <laughs> where he chose to be for the moment. I don't know how long, but I'm feeling uh, for a pretty long time yet because we're uh, I'm not hearing his energy say uh, uh, in the near future I will make a change it's like maybe sometime down the road in the distant distant future he can make a change towards you know something that doesn't feel make him feel bound or maybe he will have the happiness where he is seeing you reminds me of the things i know deep down and that's not always easy to deal with no okay <clears throat> he's dormant he's uh just staying there he's staying there and he 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 may may feel a little uncomfortable seeing you because he's remind, he's reminded that the choice he made was merely about um, loyalty um and um he made a sacrifice uh, to stay there because of fear so um mm. Your words linger in my mind. Okay. So he hasn't forgotten you, Divine Feminine. And uh, you, you might have uh, taught him something about himself. Um, and uh, sometimes, you know, you're just not ready uh, to take in that lesson. So I feel badly for the way that I treated you. You didn't deserve that. So that's nice to know, right? Um, you didn't deserve that, Divine Feminine. You certainly didn't. Um, um, lying was just easier for me than telling you the truth. Yeah, so he might have been leading you on or something um, um, or just saying things that wasn't true, made you um, hope, made you uh, wait, made you um, just wait for him and so, but, um, well, he's a... Uh, this guy, he's a scared cat. He's a he's a coward. Uh, I'm hearing those words from spirit. He's just not there right now. He can't uh, get out of his own rut. So, um, and the last card I have from him to you, I feel damaged, like I just can't do this. Yeah. 
Mm, I'm so sorry, Divine Feminine. I'm so sorry. You really... Um... <laughs> You really met uh, the guy who was uh, just not ready for you. But think about why did you meet him? What was the lesson that you had to bring out from this clear... Um, come on, um, the word, I'm looking for the word. Denial. He completely uh, abandoned you here, right? Um, so uh, he gave you hope, I'm hearing spirits say, and then he just took it all right back into the drain. <laughs> so, um, and he feels really bad about this because his essence, his identity is actually one of uh, deep loyalty, deep... Um, caring deep um um sense of um treating people right so he feels bad he really feels bad about how he treated you and that he gave you hope okay so okay we have cards for you uh um and uh, those are words from spirits towards uh, your path should you love him or should you leave him Divine Feminine. And uh, we'll see what Spirit wants to say to you. Look, um, I have all these cards I pulled for you. So we'll start with the Mystic Moon cards. Look, there are so many. Oh my God. Anyway, we don't have any room for this. Uh, good. <laughs> so, first card, Understanding. You need to understand him. Um, I know, I'm, I'm sure you can. You can understand him. Um, um, because you are a person who understands loyalty and, and understands respect for family and understand, uh, you know, um, choosing your comfort zone, which is the one, what he does, what he did. So, and the next card is fall. Yeah. So, um, take a little time for yourself now and uh, try to recover um, and, um, and bring in the teachings that came along um, with this ride. I'm hearing spirits say. And the next card is Nostalgia. Yeah. Yeah, you're feeling nostalgic because uh, you've been hurt in this situation. Your heart longs uh, for um, having been treated better. Um, you're in, in, many, in many ways, your heart broke. Um, in this situation so let your heart heal okay and the next one is inner child yeah so this is the reason why you met this person you uh felt a very strong connection suddenly to your inner child. This person uh, awoke something in your heart, some sort of joy and heart opening uh, experience um, where you suddenly felt yourself like the deepest part of your heart. You felt yourself again like when you were a child. You had sort of a wish come true or something with something he did. And, uh, and spirits say, don't close your heart. 
don't close your heart now. It's open. He opened it. He helped you open it. He was a catalyst for you. And keep it open. Um, and yeah, you were abandoned. Not only by him, but in the past. Uh, you must have had a... a, a, a past uh, experience where you were abandoned and that is why this situation came into your life that was his deal he was here to help you heal the abandonment issue that you carry around with you in your inner child and uh, and that's the reason why you actually didn't um pull out the hmm, positive side of your inner child because we have an inner child and that is not only a child that has been um through hardship and abandonment and stuff like that your inner child has a joy but you forgot that because you were abandoned perhaps or something like that but you have to find your positive inner child the child that is joyful and full of love and has a beautiful open heart and just uh, looks at the world in such a positive state of mind and and um, longing for something really good. Just uh, ex wanting to experience and expecting good stuff in your life. So um, you had to let go of this abandonment issue and refocus so um well <laughs> Whew. the energy is sort of uh dropping uh letting go <laughs> so um so please refocus okay divine feminine refocus yourself uh take a, a step back and learn understand him uh, look at yourself as, and figure out what did you learn about this mute him <laughs> you mute him now because you have refocused refocused you when you refocused you can completely mute him victim and stop being a victim don't be a victim anymore. All right, Divine Feminine. Uh, you choose. You choose if you want to be a victim or not. You choose if you want to make him the um, director of your life. Or if you want to refocus and go back to your beautiful inner child like sense and just enjoy yourself now. Um okay maybe get a new job maybe uh create your own business uh <laughs> um uh make a shift in your own life uh and it can be in all sorts of material ways uh you can make a shift um you can move, you can make a new job, you can uh, move your finances around. I'm not sure, but uh, this card tells me take care of yourself now. Take care of yourself and uh, don't doubt that you can do whatever you want, Spirit says. Oh, big dreams. You see that? Big dreams. Go after your own big dreams now. Stop being focused on these aban abandonment issues. Because the truth is that the only one that you're truly uh, abandoning is yourself. Don't abandon yourself. Love yourself Take care of yourself and get moving. 
get out there in the world and do whatever is meant for you to do in this world. Because we all have something we were meant to do. And of course you have as well. Something that the world will just uh, become bigger <laughs> by. Uh, something that will just be uh, important for someone else and uh, thereby uh, be um, um, putting good out, out into this world and uh, elevating the frequency of the energy, of the collective energy from what it is that you uh, do from not doubting yourself anymore for standing by yourself now these are uh, the goddess power oracle i'm bringing them in now and here we have gula healing yeah so she's saying heal from this now give yourself time to heal mute this guy stop being a victim just lay back and let us heal you. Let us just be there for you. The energy will help you and uh, give yourself the time you need to heal. Um, independence. So uh, <laughs> Lilith, this uh, goddess is called. And uh, look at her. She's such a strong person. And she, the card is saying uh, be independent now focus on your own independence uh, focus on what it is that you want in your life trust yourself trust yourself and love yourself um, because there's so much you can do and the last card for you divine feminine is rebirth oh my god <sighs> So, yeah, all of this, all of this messy stuff was about you having a rebirth. You had to have that rebirth. You had to walk through that portal uh, within yourself so you could get to your uh, biggest dreams and refocus you have to refocus your life but sometimes and especially um, right now uh, those uh, frequencies are so uh, um, huge the changes in the frequencies are so huge uh, such a huge leap that um, the universe has brought us um, a huge catalyst uh, to just make us make that change towards our own higher self's uh, truest um, purpose. Okay, so um, thank you, guy. Say um, thank you. Uh, have a good life. Um, I understand. Uh, I forgive you. Um, right now, um, I'm moving on um, with my own life and uh, stop thinking about him anymore. Those are the last words from spirit and th they came in very clear. Stop giving him more of yourself now. Give to you, give to yourself. All right. All right. So love him or leave him leave him all right <clears throat> thank you so much for watching you guys um this was the last uh card pile number three and um i'm so happy to be back <laughs> uh thank you so much for um, having subscribed uh to me still for these past three weeks where i have been out of um, balance <laughs> uh, physically uh, and um, 
ah, I thank you so much for still being here. Um, I'm happy to uh, have been back and return. So um, we'll see you. See you next time. All right. Good work still, right? These three piles were like, <laughs> you're still doing the work out there. <laughs> Bye-bye.